Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cloud Certification Catalyst series uh, focused on the HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate Excel. Okay, so this is the third question of this series. So just directly going to the question. Okay. While running a particular Terraform script, you came across a problem. One of the resources got created incorrectly and resulted in the resource being a peculiar stage. As such, you want the Terraform to delete and recreate it again. But since it is already stored in Terraform state on running plan again, no differences are being observed. What is the most efficient way to handle this particular use case? So you ran your script, your config script. You got some sort of an error when you were trying to log into the VM. Or for example, there were some provisionals which were on the VM or something has failed. Basically, the resource is in some sort of a limbo or an unused state. Okay. Or for example, you want to change something or whatever with the reason. Basically, what you want is that you want to enable Terraform to basically delete and recreate it again. Okay. Now, as of now, your actual infrastructure also has the resource and uh, Terraform state file also has the resource. As such, when you run Terraform apply again, there is no difference. There is no delta between your state file, meaning your configuration file, and your state file, meaning the actual status of the resource. So your code also uh, mentions that this resource is needed and Terraform on fetching, on refreshing the state, the state file with the real world infrastructure also checks that this resource, actual resource is present. So it does not delete it. Basically you are try to create it or recreate or delete it, nothing. So it does not show any changes, but you know the resource is in a peculiar state or in a difficult state or in a limbo state. So you want basically to just delete and recreate it. So what is the best way? So option A, destroy the resource manually from the corresponding CSP infra or services portal and then run Terraform apply command again. B, run Terraform state RM command with that particular resource ID to remove it from the state and then run the Terraform apply command again. C, this is not possible in the open source version. You need to use Terraform Cloud or Terraform Enterprise for this. D, run Terraform destroy with the target command to destroy the resource first and then run Terraform apply on the subsequent run. E, run Terraform taint command with the resource ID of the particular problematic resource. This will mark this resource for subsequent deletion and recreation in the next Terraform apply cycle. So first of all, I will like to mention that the actual associate level exam will not contain, I think, five uh, options. Mostly all my questions had four options. Also, they will not be this complicated, but yes, they will test you both on your understanding of the state file, on the understanding of Terraform state commands, Terraform commands in general, Terraform taint command also. Okay, so let's do first one. So first one is I delete the resource directly from the CSP. Right. So as soon as I directly delete it from CSP, the next time I run Terraform apply, okay, my state will get refreshed and it will see that the file is uh, the actual resource is not in the infrastructure, meaning the actual real world. So my state file will also refresh and delete it from the state file. And on the subsequent Terraform apply, yes, Terraform will ask you to recreate the infrastructure. So this option will work. But in this case, I am not doing this via Terraform. The answer is what is the most efficient way to handle this? So I'm having to log into my CSP. I'm having to delete it from the CSP. But why should I do all of these things via the portal or some other way if I'm already managing my infrastructure as Yak? So obviously this is one option, but we need to check the other options. Number B, run Terraform state RM command with that particular resource ID to remove it from the state and then run the Terraform apply command again. So what is the Terraform state RM command? So this is where your understanding of the Terraform state commands come into play. So if we go to the uh, command line of the state commands, as you can see, the Terraform state command is used for advanced state management. So to change or to make modifications into your Terraform state file, you are going to use this command. As your Terraform usage becomes more advanced, there are some cases where you might need to modify the Terraform state rather than modifying the state directly or editing the Terraform state command can be used in such cases instead. So if you see the particular command state RM command, the Terraform state RM command is used to remove items from the Terraform state. This can remove single resource, single instance of a resource, entire module and more. So basically say your Terraform state file contains something. 
okay and say somehow okay somebody in the outward world or somebody uh, has uh, has mentioned to you or they have either deleted it or they have mentioned to you that going forward they don't want you meaning the terraform code to manage that resource so currently your outer world infrastructure has a one to one mapping with your terraform state right now going forward they are saying no this infrastructure we are going to maintain parallelly manually or whatever i don't want to maintain you with uh, i don't want you to basically do any modifications or maintain it or keep track of that resource in your terraform code so what you have to do you have to terraform state rm and then remove it from your config also both of them if you do then the uh, as, soon as, as soon as you done terraform state rm and that resource that resource identification of the state of that particular resource in the actual state file will get deleted and as soon as you remove it from your config both of them goes up very good so terraform state rm it can be used to remove one or more items from the terraform address this address is the field where you basically mention the item or items you want to remove so for example this is an example if i want to remove this packet device dot worker packet device is the type of resource and the worker is the logical name of the resource in the terraform modules so if i want to do something like this then i can do it okay now coming back to my so you can read more about the terraform state command so all of these commands are very important please uh, read all of them list mv pull push so in my exam i got from state and show from list and show i got questions uh, from the both of them okay now if i run terraform state rm command and then run terraform apply again what will happen so as soon as i will run terraform state rm command okay my re, uh, resource actual resource is still present right but my state file has uh, deleted it now the next time when i am going to run the terraform apply command it is not that it is going to delete my existing resource because the one to one mapping has been removed it is going to create a problem because my existing resource i have not deleted i have kept my existing resource but and i am basically deleting my state uh, just the uh, entry of that resource in my state file now if i wanted to go via this way i should have removed both the resource and i should have removed the entry of the that resource in my state file but in this case it is only doing terraform state rm and then running terraform apply so basically it will again try to create that resource even though the existing resource is already present so in case that there are unique con name constraints on that resource for example that resource for example it's an azure sql server resource where azure does not allow two resources to have the same name then it will give an error so this is not the option number c this is not possible in the open source version you may need to run terraform cloud or terraform enterprise for this so this is where your understanding of what uh, is the benefit of using terraform cloud or terraform enterprise and what are the new features they provide against the open source version comes into play this is an incorrect option okay so this is possible in the open source version and just as a fyi let me tell you is that most of the terraform inbuilt features the terraform founders basically the hashicorp founders they have allowed they have kept it as a open source offering only so the basic tenets of terraform the commands the state and stuff they are maintaining what does terraform cloud and terraform enterprise give they will give you enterprise great features okay to basically uh, use terraform in a collaborative and uh, in your private data center host it in a scalable way but the basic tenets are also present in the open source version okay so just remember this as a fyi for all any questions that terraform enterprise or terraform cloud is not going to for example there will not be uh, another 10 new commands in terraform enterprise or terraform cloud mostly it is only that it is giving you enterprise great features and so on now this one d run terraform destroy with the target command to destroy the resource first then run terraform apply on the subsequent run. so this can work because if i do a terraform destroy what it will do it will basically delete that resource okay and it will it is also going to basically uh, uh, change my state entry so if i run terraform destroy with the target command so what is this target this target command is if i want to for example uh, target one particular resource okay so something like that if i want to do then this is something uh, you can do okay but uh, what the actual thing is that uh, whether even though this might be possible this is not what the question is asking you for okay so you must understand that here what they are saying that i want terraform they want terraform to delete and recreate it again so they want terraform to do it okay so the actual answer is the terraform taint command okay so what does the terraform taint command do so the terraform taint command manually marks the terraform managed resources tainted 
forcing it to be destroyed and recreated on the next apply. So this is particularly what we want. So you run Terraform tent and give the resource ID. For example, you do Terraform tent AWS security group dot all. So this resource will be marked as tainted. What does that mean? Is that in the state file, this resource will be marked as tainted. So it will, will that be destroyed then and there? No, that resource will not be destroyed then and there. But what will happen is that the next time you run Terraform apply, Terraform will know that this resource is marked as tainted. So irrespective of whether there are changes, whether there is delta or not, nothing, it is going to basically destroy the resource and then recreate it with the current parameters or so the current configuration. And this is what you want. So this command will not modify the infrastructure. As soon as you run Terraform tent, it will not destroy the infrastructure or mark it anyway. It is just going to modify the state file in order to mark that resource as tainted. Once the resource is marked as tainted, the next plan command will show that the resource will be destroyed and recreated and the next apply will implement this change. So it is going to mark the resource as tainted in a state file. Not It is not going to change any parameter in the actual resource. And as soon as it is tainted, next time Terraform knows either you run plan or you run apply that this resource is marked as tainted, so they need to be destroyed and recreated. Okay. So this is also very important. It will not happen the first time. So as soon as you do run Terraform 10, nothing happens. It just marks the resource. The next time you have to run it again, next time, basically you have to run Terraform apply or Terraform plan next time and it will implement this change. Okay. So basically this is my correct answer. So as you can see, this is my correct answer. Run Terraform tent command with the resource ID of the particular problematic resource. It will mark this resource for subsequent deletion and recreation in the next Terraform apply cycle. Okay, so in this one, what you had to do, these are the references to the taint and the state command. So what was needed from you was basically your understanding of the Terraform commands, state, state, all the Terraform state commands, and also a little bit understanding of what is the difference between Terraform enterprise features like Terraform cloud and Terraform enterprise and also the features like Terraform open source. Okay, so thank you for this. Let me know if there is anything specific that you want me to discuss. Otherwise, I will keep on adding uh, more questions to this series. Uh, please uh, share your feedback in the comment section and subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. Thank you.